Now we come on to install the lock manager. In our case, it is on the opposite side of the wall to the reader. It is in its surface housing, although it can be mounted within a push to exit switch using a custom or a bracket, or in the back box of a brake glass, or in a single or double gang plastic surface or flush patches box. Measure and drill the holes for the bracket fixing screws. Fit wall plugs then screw the bracket onto the wall with the board mounting pillars at the bottom. Pull the reader, the lock and the network cables through. Strip back the network cables. The green pair are not used and may be tied back or cut off. Using a chrome tool, connect the cables to the chrome socket on the lock manager. Make sure that the cables are positioned on the inside pointing out, otherwise the angle of the cable will prevent the mounting of the lock manager into the housing. Use the mid-span bridge slash lock manager technical manual or border flash cards to determine the correct wiring of the cables. This must be done before the lock manager is mounted onto the bracket. Mount the tamper switch onto the bracket, followed by the lock manager and screw in using two M3 by 10 screws. Connect the tamper switch to the purple and black tamper inputs of the lock manager. If a double pole brake glass is installed, route the tamper through one of these contacts as well. If the brake glass is subsequently broken, this will generate an alarm. Connect the reader to the lock manager, matching the colors one to one. Connect the door monitor wires to the orange and black inputs, the lock to the blue negative and brown positive outputs. If there is a remote exit push button, connect this to the orange-black pair. Otherwise short out the orange-black pair with an inline crimp. The lock manager needs to have its two headers set. The top one in this image is the reset header. If it is shorted during a power on, it will completely erase its configuration and should be inserted when installed for the first time at location. The lower header nearest the edge, defines the lock type during power on. Short it out for a fail safe lock. Note, that both header states are only read during power on and that the lock type will be overwritten by the Fusion software once the lock manager is online. After power on reset, the reset jumper should be removed, otherwise the lock manager will perform a full reset during each power on. This completes the hardware install. The lock manager and reader now need to be configured on the system.